Okay, we are looking at intrusive igneous rocks. Here we have dunite. It's uh, kind of got a yellow green thing sheen to it. This is alkali feldspar granite. So I take that to mean that a lot of the white specks in there are not quartz, rather it's al alkali feldspar. Here we have peridotote. You can see it's green right there on the top. So, just look for green crystals. There's one right there. Peridotote. This is peroxinite. What is this, the sparkling? So this is peroxinite. This is my absolute favorite, a northosite. It's what they have a lot of on the moon. I say they as if there's somebody there, because there's gonna be someday. This here is Gabbro. Pair it with uh, the uh, peroxinite and the peridotote and the alkali feldspar granite. It's a uh, gabbro. Here's granite out of cave feldspar. And this is diorite or tonalite. And you'll know it's actually darker than the alkali feldspar granite because it's more uh, intermediate. So the intrusive igneous rocks. Intrusive igneous rocks. And here they are. This is Lapili Tuff. It's tough. Look at those preferential sediment or grains or whatever you want to call them. Preferential orientation. This is rhyolite. Pretty easy. Andesite. It's andesite. It's dark. White stuff. Black stuff. I think some of these long crystals are amphiboles. These long black crystals, I think they must be some kind of amphibole. This is obsidian. Pretty, pretty obvious. Regular old basalt. Basalt. A lot of this on the moon as well. On the Marias especially. Marie. Pumice. Not to be confused with scoria. This is pumice. And it's got lots of teeny tiny little holes in it. And it's glassy. Because... Can I hear that sound? That's shattered glass. This is felsite porphyry. To me it looks like a red version of the andesite. But I think it's vastly different minerals. I wonder if that's garnet in there. Anyways, felsite porphyry. This is basalt porphyry. Because if you can see there are some larger crystal grains embedded in there. This is basalt porphyry. Here we have vesicular basalt. And this is scoria. And these are metamorphic rocks, pretty easy. First off, we have nice quartzite. This is quartzite. 
It says metaconglomerate. That's two billion years old. Here we have marble. So this is obviously fizz. Here's phyllite. Let's see if we can see the layers. It's phyllite. This is a schist. Specifically, this one is a chlorite schist. And there you can see kind of the schistosity of the layers in there. To all the sparklies. And here's a garnet schist. This is slate. You can really see that slaty cleavage there. Ooh, that's good right there. Here's some sedimentary rocks. Here's some sedimentary rocks, and I don't have all the names for them, so we're just going to look at them and hopefully be able to match them up later. Um, anyways, I know, happen to know this is um, quartz aronite. This is sample nine. Quartz aronite was sample one. This is eight. Looks like there's a crinoid stem in there. Here's six. This is, I'm pretty sure this is chert. Yeah, this is chert. Here's three. Here's two. Uh, seven. Eleven. That's a conglomerate. Ha. Um, four. Oh, I remember this is like poop stone. It's got like pea light or something in it. The green stuff. Uh, not sure what sample number this is. Twelve, maybe. There's 10. I'm starting to run out of batteries. Here are some possible names. One, quartz aronite. Two, feldspathic lithwacky. Three, siltstone. Four, quartz aronite something or other. Five, quartz aronite. Six, chert. Seven, lithic felds aronite. Eight, bioclastic wax. Wack stone, nine felds aronite, ten bioclastic pack stone, and eleven clay stone. Finer, coarser, coarser, really coarse.